Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Satisfactory. In the last episode, we fixed our power supply issues. We set up uh, Caterium processing into Quickwire. We've unlocked tier, tiers 5 and 6 from the space elevator. And now we're ready to actually start unlocking the individual milestones within tiers 5 and 6. But before we start that, uh, it's important to, to kind of see where we're at here. And just like visually, you can see the top tier of the bus. The supply of steel pipes is looking pretty sparse. And that's undoubtedly because we've changed our industrial beam recipe from using the steel beams to the steel pipes. So between the encased industrial beams and the motors, we're going through uh, steel pipes at a really high rate. But that's no problem. Uh, because of our recent uh, addition to uh, our our coal nodes, we've got space to quickly expand uh, our production of steel pipes. Before we had uh, two nodes that were um, splitting their output between coal generators and foundries, now. 100% of the output from the new two nodes is going into steel. So that's 240 coal per minute. Uh, that can feed five and one third steel foundries. Right now we only have four foundries. So we'll add two more foundries. Let's get the materials for that. And we'll add uh, three more constructors producing steel pipes. Each, if fully supplied, one steel foundry can produce enough ingots for two constructors making steel pipes. One of the foundries will be fully supplied, the second foundry will only be one third supplied. So instead of making two and four, we'll make two and three, and while it won't be fully efficient, it will still help boost our production of steel pipes, and that's what we need right now. Oh, no wonder, I forgot that I emptied my inventory before we launch the space elevator. So steel pipes and encased industrial beams. Pretty ghetto, but we'll make it work. Eight more. All right. Need a crafting bench. Let's go and retrieve my former inventory contents really quickly.
So these modular setups really easy to expand. Poles. Extend the belts. Select the recipe. Add the splitters. are mergers. This is why you always cluster your power poles where you don't run out when you need it. I'm nearly out of cable, so I'll pick some up quickly. How are we doing? Yeah, we need to increase our production of copper wire. It's not quite keeping up with the needs of three assemblers producing motors. The best solution is probably to find another copper node. They're fairly common. Okay. Producing ingots, good. Now three more constructors, all producing pipes. Can't afford. Splitters. And power.
hopefully that makes a difference. We're increasing our production of steel pipes by more than 50%. Seven constructors devoted to it now. Should definitely help. All right, let's go up to our hub and take a look at the milestones for tier five and six. There are some really good ones. Oil processing. Let's put the oil pump and oil, oil refinery. That lets you produce plastic, fuel, rubber, circuit boards, and you can scan for crude oil. That requires 75 modular frames, 75 motors, 3,000 wire, 400 cable. It's a lot. Industrial manufacturing. Manufacturers. It's like a an assembler or constructor, but you can have four items combined into one finished product. The truck. It's got a twice the inventory, I think, of the tractor. Otherwise, same functionality. Computers. Uh, you know, everyone knows what a computer is. They require a lot of parts, circuit boards, plastic, screws, in the initial recipe. So if we can find an alternate recipe for computers, that's definitely going to be ideal. Otherwise, uh, the screw consumption is, is really high. Caterium Electronics. A smart splitter. AI limiter, the supercomputer, and the high-speed connector. In tier 6, fuel generator. This is the the next generation of power generators. Uh, I believe each one produces 150 megawatt hours. Currently we're using coal generators that only produce 50 megawatt hours each. Fuel generators are fed by fuel which is refined from crude oil. Conveyor belt, uh, conveyor belt mark 4. Uh, 240 resources, resources per minute. That's up from our current mark 3's that only have 270 per minute. So pretty big upgrade there. Uh, and you make Mark IV belts with one encased industrial beam each. Same for the con conveyor lift Mark IV, 480 per, min per minute. Uh, the jetpack, excellent. Lets you fly around. It lets you pretty much avoid falling damage. It's, it requires a source of fuel to, uh, to operate. Uh, train technology, excellent. We will definitely make use of this. Uh, we'll start using trains right away, probably for oil. And the gas mask. Uh, there's a lot of poisonous plants and just natural gas that's, that's uh, pumped into the, the atmosphere. You'll take damage if you're not wearing a gas mask with a filter. But look at how expensive all of these milestones are becoming. 75 motors, 75 modular frames, 1,000 quick wire, 50 motors, and then T6 is, is much, much greater. 75 heavy modular frames. One heavy modular frame is 5 modular frames, 15 steel pipes, 5 encased industrial beams, and 90 screws. That's a lot. Uh, there's a, an alternate recipe for heavy modular frames that does not require screws and produces three at a time, we need to try to find that recipe before we automate heavy modular frames. Also a uh, alternate recipe for computers that does not require screws, that's going to be essential for doing this efficiently. But uh, just right away, the, the first thing that we want to unlock, oil processing for sure, uh, there are a lot of great things to be made with oil products. Uh, industrial manufacturing, that's good. Not really essential uh, off the bat, but uh, the expanded power structure, that's good. 
just unlocking Mark IV belts can really increase your uh, throughput in some places where you're limited by the belt speed and uh, monorain trails that's going to be good but man a hundred computers for monorain, tra monorain trails I'm thinking off the bat we can unlock wall processing and then we need to do some exploring and unlock uh, a few more alternate recipes try to get lucky as we set up our our oil extraction so 75 modular frames all the cable we have all the wire we have and then we'll fetch some motors So research done. R and D has repurposed a common engineering tool to assist you in your defense against the local wildlife and provided an extra equipment slot. The blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier Three. We'll research alien organs. top belt. The pipes are definitely not as sparse, but it's still not fully compacted. So if we find more coal when we're uh, out and about looking for hard drives, that'll be useful. would be extremely ideal would be Mark III Miners, but they're not unlocked until Tier 7, which means we've got to produce a thousand motors, a thousand heavy modular frames, a thousand computers. That's gonna, that's a, that's a task right there. That's a tall order. What's the issue here? Oh. I know. Our truck carrying Caterium ran out of fuel. It's fine. Okay. What were we here for? Wire? Cable? Really? Okay, I'll run back and get six more motors. This is 
this data production is full. Just the rotors. These rotors must be requiring a lot. This isn't even hooked up. <laughs> How long has this been going on? Oh man. Is this a merger or a splitter? Yep. That should be a merger. Well, that's a wake up call because if these three assembler outputs weren't even hooked up, then our actual uh, steel pipe demand is much higher than we thought, and we already knew that it was it was higher than our production. So we'll probably need to, to think about it. I'm thinking there's really no use for steel beams once you've started uh, using the alternate recipe for encased industrial beams and you unlock uh, the next tier of conveyor belts which use encased industrial beams. So uh, if that's the case and there's no use for steel beams at all, we can uh, take the output from the two smelt uh, foundries that are making steel beams and turn them into four constructors making steel pipes. And that'll help. That'll help a lot. Will it be enough? Probably not. We'll probably need more coal. Milestone reached. Oil acquisition. Okay. And so we've unlocked. Oil based products can now be made. Caution, this is a reminder oil bumps. to minimize the chance of expiration and oil refineries. Activities. I'm going to queue up four oil pumps for now. Uh, we'll do all of our refining here in, in the starter factory. Uh, I guess we'll just we'll start with belts and a truck depot and move to uh, monorail once we've set up some more automation and I guess we could, we could use trucks instead of tractors that's probably better we can unlock this right now and or I guess in 11 minutes monorails we're not even close to that that's just that's a lot but this this is simple enough Uh, also, I want to pick up my power shards. I'm going to put all of our future oil pumps at double capacity, 200% output. So it'll be like having eight oil pumps instead of four. Actually, we'll have to wait on that because it just occurred to me that right now we're restricted to level Mark III belts and uh, they don't have the capacity to keep up with a, an oil pump at double, at 200% output. Once we unlock the tier or the Mark IV belts, we'll be in, in business there. So for now, let's gather the materials to unlock this milestone and create four oil pumps. 
Where are we at? We just need cable, really. We need cable, we'll need a lot of belts, we've got that. Need some more rods. Screw's fine, that's good. Rods are good. Definitely running out of wire. Cable's fine. Okay. So, let's do a quick ping. I know that crude oil is not too far. I'm fairly familiar with this portion of the map. You can see the beings from here. At least three. I'm pretty sure that there are, there are four oil nodes down there. I'll jump off. No falling damage even <laughs> for landing in shallow water. Let's run and grab our explorer. Trucks still moving, tractors. Why is that tractor not moving? That's a concern. Okay, we'll check that out first. Let me run these biofuel down there. some coal. That really shouldn't be happening. Let's just check things out really quickly. Yeah, 
looks good. Seems to be working now. Why is this log back? I'm sure I removed it. Okay, off to the oil fields. Oh no. Need to move that power pole. I know there's a shallow water path to get to this island. I just don't know exactly where it is. And it's super foggy right now. Oh, this is too deep. shallow water the whole way. Pale berries, good. To clear some wasps. So unlike uh, ore nodes or coal nodes, there's no way to manually extract uh, oil from the ground. There's, you can't just chisel away at it. It can only be extracted with the oil pump.
Alpha Predator. Oh, our health is super low. We need to use our inhaler. Okay, full health. Having the Blade Runners on makes this a lot easier. You could just uh, the run speed makes a big difference. There's a second batch of oil. more. They're all small. Said everything. Awesome. Here's our third patch of oil. Sulfur. Let's pick, take that back with us. Sure, there's a fourth patch of oil. Yeah, there it is. Second like alpha. Sulfur, good. Got it in the air. So these were all pure nodes of oil. And when powered up, they'll produce 240 per minute. So that's the same as a, or equivalent to a Mark II miner on a pure node. That means using tier 3 belts, we need one belt for each of the oil pumps. Not ideal, but that's what we've got.
I should be putting down power poles while I'm here. Good. Oh, another alpha predator. Should do it. This guy's hard. Hit this guy eight times. There we go. It's guarding a Mars sphere. The VIP. Stands for work in progress. They don't currently have a function. But in a future update, I'm sure they will serve a purpose. So the issue here is you really need four truck stations to make use of the output of these four oil pumps. And that's just because of the the belt limitations, right? If you merge three belts together or even two, you know, it doesn't matter how much supply you've got coming in from the oil pumps, you're never going to get more than 270 items per minute into the truck station. Into a single truck station. almost worthwhile and you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. it's worthwhile just to belt uh, these this crude oil all the way to the base just by conveyor belts for now and you know honestly we probably don't need all four right now we could just take two that's actually an, another thought yeah I'm going to say it's almost as easy to belt four as it is to belt two if you've got the materials on you. Then you can set up your oil processing for four or even the eventual eight you know that you will have. And then once you've unlocked the monorail technology 
and the Mark IV belts, you can, you know, set it up with monorails to make it a little cleaner. That's probably what we'll do. I'm not a fan of belting resources over long distances. But, I mean, let's, let's real. I can see my factory from here. It's not a super long distance. And uh, in this case, I think I prefer belting to oh, the alternative of setting up four truck depots. That just seems crazy. And then you have to, to fuel four truck depots and routing them, they'll be crashing into each other all over the place. So this may be the rare exception when belting is, is more efficient than using a truck depot. Uh, having said that, once you unlock monorail technology, that's the way to go. With uh, the train stations, the freight loading stations, they've got two inputs like the industrial storage containers. And once we've upgraded to the uh, the Mark IV belts, uh, one Mark IV belt can handle the output of one oil pump at 200% output. So 480 oil per minute per pump. And then you can easily fill four freight cars with crude oil. And that's, that's almost but not quite all the oil you would need for the rest of the game. I mean, that's, yeah, that's 1,600, almost 2,000 crude oil per minute. That seems like a ton, but you need a lot of oil. A lot of plastic, a lot of rubber later in the game. And then if you're at the very end of the game, I think the, the best way right now to power your factory is through oil generators that are burning turbo fuel. Turbo fuel is an alternate recipe that you discover with a hard drive. I should bring power lines while I'm here. And uh, turbo fuel is made from the standard fuel, which is made from crude oil. But you combine that fuel with compacted coal, which is another alternate recipe. And compacted coal is made with coal and sulfur. So you need two alternate recipes, and you, you can't unlock the turbo fuels recipe until you've already found the, the uh, compacted coal recipe. And then you just turn coal and sulfur into co compacted, compacted coal. And then combine that compacted coal with fuel to make turbo fuel. And it's got a, a much longer burn rate than the standard fuel. So you produce enough turbo fuel and it can uh, supply like 60 uh, fuel generators and supply your base with, you know, like 20,000 megawatt hours of energy. A lot. A whole lot. Twenty thousand megawatts is enough to, you know, produce the very in-game items like supercomputers and turbo motors at a decent rate, like 10 per minute. And we're 
we're almost out of beams. Yep, we're out. Well, I could have predicted that. And we're almost out of cable. Okay. Fortunately, the base isn't too far. Okay. Uh, well, we've uh, run long again. This is a good place to wrap up the episode. I'll run and um, gather materials, and I'll finish belting the crude oil to the base between episodes. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Please like and subscribe if you're liking this Let's Play series. And post uh, any questions you've got, or critiques, open to critiques, in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching, and enjoy your day.